Hey VG fans and welcome back to Games and Gear. And what a great episode we have for you tonight. Growing up, one of the many video games I was well familiar with was the Crash Bandicoot series. Throughout this series, I have seen many characters that I liked a lot. And so for this episode, I will be doing a top 5 list for my favorite Crash Bandicoot characters. This is also a good opportunity to celebrate Crash's 25th anniversary. So let's kick back and enjoy the top 5 list. First up is Yaya Panda, who made an appearance in the little known mobile game called Crash Nitro Kart 2. However, years later she will be a playable character in Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel during the Winter Festival Grand Prix. Now the reason I like her because Stephanie Shea, who voiced her, did a great job. You've never seen speed like mine! Yeah! She gave her a voice that shows a bit of confidence with a bit of cuteness in between. I also like her design, especially when you choose the different skins for her. I feel that Yaya could be a great addition to the main Crash Bandicoot games. Maybe she could be a part of this Wampa League I've been hearing so much about. Some sources claim that Yaya was Coco Bandicoot's best friend, and I would love to see the games establish that even more. Heck, she would even make a great asset to the team. Well, here's number 4 on the top 5 list. Next we have Dingo Dial, who made his first appearance in Crash Bandicoot Warped for the PlayStation, and has been a vital character ever since. Good day, mates. Dingo Dial's the name, and Uka Uka and Cortex gave me orders to bring the crystals to them during the Ice Ages. So give me the goods and shove off, or I'll roast you. Now he's a great one because he can be a bit cocky, but in a funny way. Crikey, I'm starved! Wait, is that... Roadkill pie? Slugging centipede gumbo? Breeze back taking... Ah, bastards! They'll get every last one of yous! He also proves himself to be a tough opponent for Crash, especially when he uses his flamethrower. I also like the fact that he can be playable in the recent game, Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time. Here, he has his own restaurant, which ends up getting destroyed, prompting Dingo Dial to spring into action. In fact, there are a few levels in the game that let you play as Dingo Dial, which connects to a level that's playable as Crash or Coco. The reason I like Dingo Dial is because he can be tough, and he can be very funny at times. And I think that's what makes him a likable character in my opinion. Now here's number 3 on the top 5 list. Next up is the alternate universe version of Tana from Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time. I really like her because she can be very adventurous. She can really pack a punch with enemies. I really like her design, she just looks so adorable. And she has a nice sounding voice as well. Hang on guys, I'm coming! It's good to see you guys, it's been a long time for me. Please let the next world be a beach world. Sunshine and sand. Drinks with mini umbrellas, mmm. Aw, Kauai! Ooh, must have left my jacket in the Bermuda Quadrangle. I guess the reason I like her is because she's really cool. She has so many neat moves. I wish she could teach me something like that. The only thing I'm curious about is what would happen if this version of Tana met with the Tana from Crash's universe. Now that would be pretty neat. Anyway, on to number two on the top five list. Here we have Engine, who made his first appearance in Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. I gotta be honest, when I was a kid he used to scare me a bit, mostly because of his robotic voice. But Dr. Cortex, to reach full power we need not only your master crystal, but also the remaining 25 slave crystals from the surface. How do you expect to retrieve them when we don't have any earthbound operatives left? So... Crash Bandicoot, we meet again. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex want me to teach you a lesson. Well, I've made a few modifications to my mechanics since our last encounter. So back off or be deleted. 
However, over the years I've gotten used to it, and he seems to be more funny to me than scary. Especially when Nolan North voiced him for a while, starting with Crash Tag Team Racing all the way to Crash Mine Over Mutant. Yes! Meet your doom, fool! Oh, the happy joy! Oh, such a tragedy! <laughs> it is your destiny! Come back, so I can destroy you again! More! Engine one, more! Crash, you fool! You're too late! It's time to drop the Doom Hammer on you! Uh, the Doom Hammer of Doom! Uh, upon you! And let's just dance, baby! What are you doing here? Get out of my special place! I haven't cleaned or shaved! You weren't supposed to see it like this! Quiet, Tina! Or I shall give you the back of my missile! I can see why most consider Engine to be very popular out of all of Cortex's minions. He also seems to hold his own with his own machines and weaponry. Well, before I move on to the number one character on this list, let me show you some honorable mentions. So here we have Crash Bandicoot himself as the number one character on the top five list. Now, I have got plenty of reasons why he's my favorite. For one, he spins away a lot of enemies. He can be very daring at times. Other times, he can be pretty goofy. But despite his stupidity at times, he has proven himself to be a great hero time and time again, defeating the likes of Dr. Cortex or Dr. Entropy numerous times. We are ready, Crash. Would you like to do the... <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention saving the world from certain destruction, he is also very skilled, whether he's riding a motorcycle, wearing a jetpack, riding an airplane, or scuba diving. Crash has done so many neat things over the years, and I'm looking forward to see what the future may hold for him. 
Where am I? What is this? And so this concludes the top 5 favorite characters from the Crash Bandicoot series. Now before I wrap up this episode, here is a game wordplay. And today's game wordplay is Wampash, a term used when you want to bash Wampa Fruit for some reason. After the episode's over, I'm gonna have a talk with the guy who comes up with these things. I mean, this one just sounds ridiculous. And on the topic of Wampa, there's an upcoming thing called the Wampa League. Not much is known about it at the time, but I hope to hear some news regarding it. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Games and Gear. And until next time, this is Clyde Monster, signing off. I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode of Games and Gear. To see more new content, click on the subscribe button and click the bell to get the notifications. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram and like us on Facebook. There's more exciting stuff to come, so stick around.